everyone. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how we can make use of AI to extract text from images using Excel online and we'll be importing the data into the Excel spreadsheet. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll also be covering a couple of bonus tricks using AI and charts. So let's dive right into it. I've opened my Excel spreadsheet and now I'm going to import the data. So I need to click on the data tab. I'll select data from picture and here I will select the image whose data I want to read into Excel using AI. So I'll click on open and now you can see Excel is using its AI feature. It's reading the data from the picture. You can see it's converting the picture. It's using and it's read the data and the beautiful feature, it, uh, feature of it, it has given the data that it has read in a tablet format. I can click on review and review the data. If any changes I need to make, I can make. So I'll say except for this, except for that. Whatever it feels is not ac accurately detected, the AI will tell us and we can make our changes. So here it can, you can see the written underscore and it feels something is not right to this. So I can change this format and put a space. And I can say except, I can say except for the rest. And now I say insert data and this data will now come into my spreadsheet. So you can see it has done a, a fairly good job. Just let me format this data I select all of this and go to home tab and all I need to do is click on format and I say auto fit column width and you can see my data is quite accurate and quite good. I can see one column is extra here. So I'll copy email, cut this and paste it in, in, in this column. I can delete this column with extra. And I have my nice table for data analysis. All I need to do now is select here and insert a table. And this table is ready for my data analysis. Now, as, as promised, I'll show you another cool trick with AI. Say I want to extract only the first name from this name column. So I'm going to insert a new column here and I'll give it a pattern. I'll say Leanne. And then I'll take this name because all the other names have a similar format of name and, and last name. Here there's only the first name. So I'll say Cam Cameron, click enter. And AI has already generated the pattern for me. It is, I can click on show formula and see the formula as well. I click on apply and I can copy this control C, just paste it here so that the references don't get maintained. I'll, I'll click, I'll click and say, paste as values as paste as the values. Now I can delete this column, three columns, and I can rename this to name. And there you have it. My table is ready for data analysis. I can also do a, some numerical data analysis on my age field. Say I want to insert a, some other chart. I'll insert a box and a whisker plot. I can double click on this and I can do some formatting. And if you want to know more about how to interpret a box and a viscous plot, I made a detailed video on the same and I will leave a link in the description for that. So you can see it has shown me the boss box and viscous plot. It has shown me the minimum and the maximum ages and the, and the median and the mean value and the first, the second and the third quarter as well. Do take a look at my video on box and business plot, which I leave in the description. If you want to know about box and business plot, please leave a comment on any other videos of AI you you, uh, you want to see whether in, in Excel or in any other format. Please do subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates in, in data analysis and leave a comment and like on my video. Thank you.